This is the beginning of what might be a pretty long story. This cow has far more going on with our hoof than I could ever have predicted. This is the Hoof GP. So I said in the intro that this cow has more going on with her hoof than I could ever have predicted and that is exactly correct because we're all just about to find out. She has multiple, multiple problems with this foot and actually it's not just the back left foot she has a problem with. What you've just seen me touching and prodding and poking is a fistula. Basically an exit wound from where there has once been an abscess. This cow has multiple problems, the fistula being the very least of them right now. At this stage in the trim, I believe her main problem is the detachment of the hoof horn around the heel bulb. So just above where I'm trimming right now, you can see a crack right around her heel. And that is a telltale sign that there's something seriously wrong. Put a block on that tape. Yep. Yeah. I dry that off. Inside. The inside claw, don't get it too close. Keep moving it. You don't want to singe your foot at all, Kia. Just dry it off. That's enough, Kia. After cleaning off the inner claw, I can tell it's absolutely perfect. So we'll get a block straight onto there to allow it time to dry. What have you got in your hair? Me? Yeah. Nothing. He looks like he's got something slicked in his hair, doesn't he? Maybe cow levels? You heard it here first, cow's leathers. The new glue for your hair. Okay, so this cow's feet are actually chained together and we're gonna discuss that in just a little minute. But first of all, we're gonna deal with this foot. We're getting the block on so it's got as much time to dry as possible so that there's no chance it'll ever come off. But now we need to tackle this horrendously sore foot. So this is a fistula or an exit hole for where there has been an abscess. This cow's been lame for a couple of weeks, and Alan, the dairyman here, who genuinely really cares about every single one of these cows, has been treating her with a thing called pen strep, which, as the name suggests, is penicillin, because she had this deeply reaching abscess. He's done exactly the right thing, and it's come to a head, which is this fistula. But also, Alan trimmed her, and he did a really, really good job of it. But now that the treatment has finished, her soul has started to separate, and we need to fix that. So this is the fistula here. As you can see it's still draining out. But this is separating all the way around our heel ball. This is periopal horn, so it is really flexible. This is a suspension, if you like, of the foot. But yeah, this is not good. Now that I've come down here, I've realized it's not the only problem. This foot might be quite a lot worse than what it first appears. I'm saying that because of this. This dark patch is a very bad sign. Because the horn is translucent, I can see it reaching up into the hoof capsule itself. And there's a little hole here. These little dots are marks from Alan's grinder. He's got a more coarse grinder that leaves these little marks and they're fine. But this second dot from the bottom is not fine. If you look and follow my pinky up the way, you can see this dark patch here right at the tip of my finger. That coupled with what I can see around the front is making me really worry about this foot. This little line here is a telltale sign that this might reach from here all the way down to here. It doesn't look like it on first glance, but it might just be the case. You see that? Those small bubbles are a telltale sign that there's been a build-up of pressure. A build-up of pressure which we have just relieved. Although that tissue that we can all see exposed is still alive, what I've removed from over the top was not. I'm doing everything I can to make sure I don't cut into any of this cow's tissue. If I did, 
she would feel it and rather than helping her, I would be doing the exact opposite. And just like that, we found problem number three. Any problem in the toy area requires delicacy and usually a huge amount of very small cuts. This is the axial wall. And in the last video, I told you that hoof trimmers like me hate problems in this area because they can be so difficult to reach and to treat. And you guessed it, she has a problem here which extends all the way up that wall. You end up holding your breath, you don't mean to. Mm -hmm. Although it looks as if we're a fair way through this trim, believe it or not, we still have the bulk of the hoof horn to remove. Because what you see is not the extent of the problems in this hoof. We still have the biggest one to tackle. Here is what is easily the hardest part of the trim for me. I need to use extreme power to remove this exceptionally tough hoof horn, but at the same time, I need to be accurate. The soles of a cow's feet are not what hold a cow up. That is the job of the wall horn, which is why it's so incredibly tough. These cows weigh up to around six or 700 kilos, so the wall horn has a lot to deal with. It's genuinely really hard work. This is tracking from here, coming right the way down her foot, right the way around and coming out here. In cases like these, patience and concentration are absolutely key. Something which the bull in the background doesn't seem to appreciate. As Craig is just about to show you, that noise is not the cow in the crush, it's the bull over that wall. As you can see, once I get up here, it's this big fella. Hey boy. He's quieting down now. Back to the foot. Wow. We've not had a foot with as many problems as this for a while, have we? Okay, so a quick round up. We've removed the detached hoof horn from this part of the heel. We've removed the detached hoof horn from all the way down here. Remember, it started up here, cracked all the way down to the bottom, and we've removed all the detached hoof horn that came from here down to here. Now we're just gonna deal with this fistula by cleaning it up properly and trying to get it to also heal. I clean the inside of it out using chlorohexidine. As a hoof trimmer, this is the best I can do. I can make it as sterile as possible, then treat it with iodine to hopefully kill all of the bacteria present and allow fresh, clean hoof horn and tissue to form. Now, about those chains. So this cow has actually got chains holding her back feet together. Kia spotted them straight away and wondered why that was. Why did you think that was, Kia? Maybe because she was kicking too much and she needed to stop it. Although that is a good suggestion, and it kind of does stop them kicking, I suppose, because the chain limits the movement, it's actually incorrect. Why has she got chains on her feet then, Kia? Because she slipped once and just... It's because she slipped once, did the splits, and the ligaments become damaged and susceptible to doing it again. Because she's got that sore foot as well, she doesn't want to put weight on that, which means she's more likely to slip again and I get something on my face. 
feels like I have. So those chains stay on until the ligaments are completely healed and she's unlikely to do the splits again. So they are purely for her own good. Aren't they, love? And just as luck would have it, she also turns out to have a very small problem on her back right foot as well. We deal with it very quickly indeed because it is very slight, although it will be causing her pain and does need to be addressed. Uh-oh. No way. So it turns out she has a small problem with this back right foot as well, but it's nothing like as serious as the back left. As I said at the very beginning of this video, this is probably the start of a long journey for this cow. She is in a bit of a sorry state, to put it mildly. Obviously, Alan had trimmed her, he'd done a great job. He was treating her with antibiotic and anti-inflammatories. He has the shackles on her to make sure she doesn't slip and fall and hurt herself. He is doing everything he possibly can, but as we all know, every one of you watching this has probably been ill at one time. And when you're ill, it has a knock-on effect, and that is exactly what has happened with this cow. She has a problem after problem after problem, compounding the whole situation until she's ended up looking like this. But he said this is the start of a long story. Hopefully not that long, and it will fix her up pretty quickly. One thing is for certain, we will be back here on this farm in four weeks' time. So if you want to catch an update on this cow, you know what you need to do. Subscribe. He's not wrong.